The African National Congress is set to be declared the winner of South Africa's elections for a fifth consecutive term. Official results are expected in the next hour and will guarantee President Jacob Zuma's next five years in power. All votes have now been counted. The ANC has fallen just short of a two-thirds majority, taking 62% of the vote. It's been 20 years since the party first cruised to power, marking the end of white minority rule. The leading opposition party, the Democratic Alliance, picked up less than a quarter of the vote. More than 17 million people cast a ballot, nearly three-quarters of all eligible voters. Let's go live to Tanya Page now, who joins us from Johannesburg. And Tanya, uh, celebrations in, in full swing where you are. Yes, absolutely. This is the African National Congress Party's party, if you like, to thank its supporters. I just want to show you around a little bit. Behind me there is the back of the crowd. There are hundreds of people here. ANC novelty wear and clothing being sold in the tents in the front. And over there, where all the noise is coming from, that is the stage we are at where we are going to see the President Jacob Zuma talk to supporters later on. The ANC pleased with their 62.1 per cent win, the Democratic Alliance on 22.2 and the EFF or Economic Freedom Fighters, the newcomers to this election coming in third on 6.3. A win, however, not as good as some people would have hoped for within the ANC. Lots of people smiling there, but questions behind those smiles as well, because over the last two elections, they've dropped in support from over 69% to 62% now. And of course, one of the biggest complaints uh, against the ANC, Tanya, has been the lack of service delivery. People want better education, better housing. So what sort of changes can we expect in this new term? And what does the future look like for the African National Congress? He's really got to start delivering on all of its election promises. There are lots of people in this country who still don't have electricity, water, sanitation. Really, over the next five years, it has to come through with those things because by then, it will be 25 years into democracy. And some of those people live not too far from where we are now in downtown Joburg. So the excuse of people being in rural remote areas and it's hard to get them services just isn't going to stand up for much longer. The other thing, if you look around the crowd behind me, it's young. More and more people who will be voting in the future will be born in a free South Africa and for them it is jobs and the economy that counts because they don't have that heartfelt loyalty to the ANC that their parents would have had who experienced apartheid. Most of this crowd are under the age of 25. They don't have that experience Experience. What they care about is jobs and the economy and half of the young people in this country between 18 and 25 are unemployed so the ANC has got to start delivering for them. Tanya Page at the African National Congress Party Victory Party in Johannesburg. Thank you very much Tanya for joining us.